Hi mathematicians, Mrs. Snyder here. I'm here to talk to you today about measuring the mass of objects that you may have around your house. So we have our balance scale, which we've already made. Uh, we're going to measure the mass of three different objects today. And I'm going to use uh, units of measurement that are non-standard. So that means uh, things like pasta. I've got lots of pasta around my house. Uh, I've got lots of fruit stations. So those will help me measure the mass of the different objects. And I also have uh, Jenga blocks. So those will be other units that I use to help measure the mass of the different objects. Some other things you may have around your house that would be similar shape and size would be Lego or perhaps little cubes or blocks, dice. If you have a lot of dice at home, you could use that as a non-standard unit of measure. And I'm going to get started. So uh, the first thing we're going to measure the mass of this today is a bean bag. So I'm going to place that in one cup and I'm going to measure those with packages of fruit stations, measure the mass with packages of fruit stations. And I'm going to make an estimate before I measure because it's a good thing for mathematicians to do. And my estimate for this, given the way that these fruit stations feel, would be about two packages of fruit stations to measure the mass of this bean bag. So if the bean bag is balanced with the fruit stations, I'll know that I have found the mass of the bean bag. So let's get started. So I'll place one package of fruit stations. We're not balanced yet, so I haven't found the mass of the bean bag. Two packages of fruit stations. Well, we seem pretty close. Let's see what happens if I put three in here. Now that looks more balanced. So I would say three packages of fruit stations is the mass of the bean bag. Now my estimate was two, so I was pretty close. And because these are non-standard, we're not gonna have an exact measurement. So it's about three, three fruit stations to balance the mass of the bean bag. Okay, now we're gonna try a different object. Go with a street hockey ball that I had laying around the house. I'll put that in the cup. And this time I'm going to measure with my Jenga blocks. So I'm going to estimate that the mass of the hockey ball is about 12 blocks, 12 Jenga blocks. So let's count. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, getting close, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's try one more, see what happens. Sixteen. Hmm, I'd say those are about balanced. So the mass of the hockey ball is about 16 Jenga blocks. My estimate was 12, so not too far off. Okay, and now I'm going to empty the Jenga blocks. And the last object that I'm going to measure today, to measure the mass of today, is a stapler. So here's my stapler. And I'm going to use pasta to measure the mass of the stapler. Now pasta is really light if I put it in my hand and compare the stapler and the pasta. So I'm going to estimate that it's going to take quite a bit of pasta to figure out the mass of the stapler. So my estimate is going to be about 50 pieces of pasta. Let's give it a try. Okay, so there's the stapler. Here we go. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 
24, 25, so we're halfway to 50, and we've moved a little bit, okay? 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And closer to 50. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. They're pretty close. I'm going to keep going. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. I think that's pretty close to balanced. So we'll say that the stapler is about 57 pieces of pasta in terms of mass. So the mass of the stapler is about 57 pieces of pasta. And that's how you can measure the mass of different objects in your home. Thanks for tuning in.